guys, Dead Walters here. Uh, today's video topic, we're gonna to talk about the grip. So firstly, let's talk about neutral grip. The beginner coming to the game may have hit a few balls on the range, may have not done anything, but wants to know how to hold a golf club in the best way. Right, let's look at it from an easy checkpoint for you. Okay, right, we're gonna start by holding the club in your trail hand. So remember we're hitting the golf ball this way. So trail hand, I'm just turning around this way so you guys can see. Club face in a good position, toe is up. And then we just wanna hang as a right hander, the lead hand, the left hand over. You will see there, if I just turn on an angle, you can see that my hand is there, so the grip is going through this portion. I close my fingers and put my thumb down the top, close my hand over. There we go. So I've got my thumb just down the fraction of the right side of centre. I can see two and a bit knuckles on my top hand, my lead hand. So that's an easy way of practicing just to get it into that position. So just let it hang, fingers hanging, close everything around. And there it is. So we're in that position there. And as you can see, because of the way I've had the club face and the position that it's been in here, <clears throat> club face is in a great position. From that point of view, we just want to put the hand on top. We want to put this bit, the lifeline, on top of the thumb, close the hand around. Now, whether you go 10 finger, or, well, we really only have eight fingers and two thumbs, although everyone calls it a 10 finger. I'm going to call it baseball. If we go baseball grip, if we interlock the index finger and the little finger, so index finger, lead hand, little finger, trail hand, or we overlap those, so little finger of the trail hand overlapping the index finger, the lead hand, personal preference. I personally have the overlap, that's just my personal preference. And we'll look there and you'll see the V created by the thumb and forefinger, index finger of the trail hand points up towards the collarbone area, and from that side, it points up to this portion of the shoulder there. So there's checkpoint. So if you want a good neutral grip, you're a beginner, there we go. All right, so let's look at it from a functional point of view. We want the golf ball to stop going to the right. Now, we could hit the golf ball to the right with a strong grip. We could hit it to the right with a weak grip or a neutral grip. So what we've got to look at is a combination when you're watching this video of what way does the golf club come into the golf ball? What is your swing direction, your delivery? And then which of these next two grips will help you become functional, control the flight? So the first one is a, what we would call a stronger grip. So the lead hand, instead of it being there, turned inwards this way. Okay, so how do we want to do that? Well, let's get it in the fingers. Let's hold in the fingers. So if we look at the creases, top creases of knuckles there on the hand, close the fingers around, put the hand on the top. You can see now one, two, three in a bit. That's just a really strong and excessive way of letting you see how the difference of it being turned in. From that point there, we still want to get the lifeline to cover the thumb only the thumb's more around the side. So we've now got a strong grip. So both hands turned underneath from there, turned around to the right hand side. So from that point there, that can easily see the club face rotate. So if you hit the ball off to the right and you deliver the club either nicely or a little bit this way, that's gonna get you a slightly more functional grip to control the flight. It's not gonna fix the floor that delivers the club, but it is gonna help you potentially control the golf ball a little bit more. Okay, so we've looked at neutral. We've looked at turning the hands into a stronger position. Okay, so we might wanna stop a hook. Then we might wanna get the hands into a slightly weaker position to keep the face or the loft on the face. So you wanna get the hands turned more to the lead side. So we want to look at this portion of the hand here. <clears throat> so we want to get the club on an angle, more high into the palm of the hand, close and hand over. From that point of view there, now it's one finger. So the V, thumb and forefinger is right up here, right to the chin. When I put the lifeline on top of the thumb there, you can see how the V of 
forefinger and thumb is out into this lead shoulder. So if I struggle hitting hooks, then my club face is going to be less to the left, less close to my pass, is going to be a little bit more to the right. So I'm going to be able to functionally stop hitting the golf ball as violently to the left if that's what I need to stop. So what you're going to look at when you're looking at how you hold the club is if you're a beginner, if you can go as neutral as possible, it's great, before you then develop the, the, the basic movements of the swing. If you're a seasoned player, you've got to look at it from a functional perspective. What is going to improve the ball fly? What's going to stop the hook? What's going to stop the slice? Now, potentially, you might slice it with a strong grip. From that point of view, you definitely need to get down and see your local pro. You know, seek, seek somebody out, somebody you might have confidence in or somebody who you might have been recommended to by a friend or somebody else who's had some good success. Get down and see them and make sure that you work on making sure that not just the grip fits the swing, but that the swing is functional, it's repeatable and it delivers the club to stop slice or stop the hook guys as always thanks for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up let me know that you're enjoying the content as always share it around with your friends subscribe to the channel i look forward to seeing you again next time thanks for watching